All right, guys, it's time for mystery box number three, so you know what that means. It is time to bust this open and see what Turner's Warehouse has sent to us and figure out what kind of project we're doing. Looking at all these pictures, though, I'm kind of thinking that we might be doing a ring. What do you guys think? This side up, let's bust it open. Oh no, not straws again. <laughs> oh, they're killing me. Killing me. I see what you did there. All right, we got instructions. Let's see what this is. Hey, yo, Zach. First, don't worry, we're not making you cast straws again. Ha, ah, yeah, yeah. This month you get to make some cool rings. Enclosed is our newly updated ultimate ring maker station. Sweet along with a bunch of cool items for inlay, including opal stone, gold flake, abalone, and watch parts. There are multiple rings in both your and Gretchen's size to keep you busy. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, Gretchen's my wife. Your challenge is to use stuff around your shop for inlay in at least one of the rings, and just to have fun. I'm always gonna have fun. P.S. Snack Pack, in case you need a snack. Ooh, what's that? Look at all these guys. And uh, by the way, the artwork is all done by Haley, and she is just awesome. I love the artwork. Ooh. Sweet. These straws are killing me. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Sweet. Check it out. Snack pack. Did you guys... Did you guys know that they got the snack packs now? Look at that. And I needed some snacks right now while I'm working on this. I gotta try this sucker on. There it goes. Yeah, buddy. It's even got two pockets. I can put my straws in there. Be ready for a drink whenever I need it. And snacks. All right, so let's see what this ultimate, ultimate set, oh man. All right, so this ultimate set comes with everything you need to make rings. Uh, and I'm really excited about these new mandrels. Uh, they have the ring sizes on them, which is really handy. You can just figure out exactly which, uh, you know, which ring to put it on uh, for it to fit right. But it's got everything that you need, seriously, to get started. And one thing that I'm really excited, I had one of these trays, one of the original ones, but it didn't have this silicone mat thing. So if you dripped resin and then cured it, it got all over your, your you know, tray. So you can clean that off, it'll pop right out. One other nice thing is they also provide, this is just an empty bottle, and you can fill this with UV resin and then just squeeze it out. This is actually the new technique that Chad uses just to, to get the, the like finish part on, to, to cover everything. And it's a really handy way to do it, really awesome. So we'll, we'll be doing that when I actually get my, my rings made. All right, so here's all the materials and rings that they sent. A uh, huge assortment of goodies. So uh, they sent a bunch of different uh, like opal, crushed opals. So lots of different colors of those things. We've got some power shells, some watch parts, some cubic zirconias. Those things are pretty cool. Uh, some gold flake. Nail polish is important for painting, you know, like back painting the back of the channel for, for your background. Um, these things, these abalone shell strips, I'm definitely, I think I'm going to be definitely grabbing some of that. Um, so lots of things to choose from. Uh, so big thank you to Turner's Warehouse for sending all this stuff out. Gretchen is going to be very appreciative as well. All right, so I got a lot of choices with all these goodies that they sent, and we got our ultimate ring making set up. This thing is really awesome. I like the new design. Uh, if you want to get into ring making or you see anything that I'm using that you want to pick up, um, I got links to everything that I'm using down in the description below, and they're affiliate links, so you know I get a referral bonus if you guys use the link and then go to Turner's Warehouse and order anything. So it's a pretty sweet deal. It doesn't cost you a dime, just a click, and uh, you're helping support the show, getting some good stuff, and also helping support Turner's Warehouse, uh, which uh, thank you to Turner's Warehouse for sending all this good stuff out for this video. It's pretty awesome. Um, so what I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to make two rings. I'm going to make one for myself and one for Gretchen. And so I just got to choose whatever I'm going to, you know, add to the channel and then, you know, do the finishing step. The beauty of these rings, uh, you know, for if you're wanting to sell things or for even for gifts, they're pretty quick to make. Now, I may not be able to knock one out in, you know, 15 to 20 minutes like Chad does, 
um, but it's not going to take much longer than that, you know, to, to do that. It just depends on, um, you know, how slow you go, how, how uh, methodical you are with everything. But once you've done a couple of these, I'm telling you, 20, 30 minutes, you got a ring from like start to finish. You're done. And so it's a pretty cool thing. So anyway, with all that said, let's roll right into some ring making. The first step was back painting the channel on both rings. So I used that black nail polish that they sent and let it sit for about 30 minutes before I started working on the rings. You want to make sure that that paint has dried fully before you start applying any UV resin or any other kind of glues to it. I wanted to go for Gretchen's ring first and for this one I wanted to try that gold leaf and see what it looked like with a little bit of that black showing. I didn't want to cover everything, so I thought it'd be kind of a crackle effect. And then on top of that, I wanted to try out the power shells. I've never used those before. And I thought that would be a pretty good combination with the black background. I wasn't sure about the gold, how that would look, if it was a little bit too, you know, too loud. But overall, I'm really happy with it, and it worked pretty well. Now, to apply everything, you just add a little drop of the UV resin, and then place your pieces one by one. Um, you have, you know, unlimited working time, so it's great. You can kind of get it arranged exactly how you want and then lock it in with that UV light. Once you have all the pieces arranged, then it's just a matter of applying more UV resin. And that little squeeze bottle really makes this easy. You can apply a lot of it all at once get it on there, just kind of spin it on the, the mandrel. And once everything's set the way you want it, you just hit it with the UV light and it's done. For my ring, I wanted to go for another watch parts ring. That was the first ring type that I've made. And to be honest, the first one I made was kind of so-so. I wanted kind of redemption. So for this one though, I wanted to go for some starlight glitter to see what that looked like as the background and then place the parts on top of the starlight glitter. Once again, uh, went through, you know, one by one, placing all the pieces. And then once they were ready, you just lock it in place. Now, one thing to note, uh, the watch parts, you're going to have to probably cut some of those. Um, they just, they don't fit, even, even on the biggest rings. Uh, a lot of times the parts don't fit, so just grab a pair of the kind of nippers or something like that. Pretty good pair, I would say, but um, you can just kind of cut pieces off so that they'll fit in the channel. Once I had all my parts locked down, it was just a matter of applying the finish. And one little side note about applying the finish, you're probably not going to get it perfect the first time. There may be a few low spots. You can just fill in a little bit of extra on, on any low spots and then just lock it in with the UV light and you're good to go. All right, so we got our inlays laid in on both of our rings at this point, and all we have to do now is fully cure them and then sand and polish. And so to fully cure these, just stick them outside in the sunlight and probably about 15 minutes, they're gonna be good to go. Uh, the other thing is if it's nighttime or it's raining or snowing or something like that, and you don't wanna just put them outside because you don't really have any sunlight, you could use you know, like a UV light curing station, like a nail curing station like I have. Um, that will work. Um, it's gonna take a little bit longer than sunlight. I find that to be a lot faster uh, if you can just cure this stuff in the sunlight. Um, but either way, um, get it fully cured nice and hard, and then we just have to sand and polish. I'm gonna do it on the lathe. Um, I wanted to give a couple of options for anybody that maybe doesn't have a lathe um, already. I think you could probably do this on a drill press. Um, I, you know, it wouldn't be super amazing, I don't think, compared to a lathe, but it would work if you have a drill press but not a lathe. Um, and then the other option is you could probably just go with a very, very cheap, like the cheapest lathe on the planet for something like this. You know, maybe spend 100, 200 bucks, something like that, um, and it would work. Um, now, I also wanted to mention one other little kind of quick tip here. I think that regardless of how good your eyesight is, you're gonna need some magnifying lenses. So um, I'll have links to that in the, in the description below. And I think that's about it. So I'm gonna go cure these outside and then we will get these things sanded and polished.
Wow, these things turned out amazing. These are the best rings that I have ever made, hands down. Um, I just, everything looks so clear on this and, and all the little pieces turned out really great. I love the starlight glitter as kind of the background on my watch parts ring. Um, and I have links to that down in the description below if you wanna try that out as a backdrop on your rings. Um, and there's probably a link on the screen as well. But man, overall, just a really fun project. It probably took me about an hour per ring. Um, and that's with me like moving cameras around and doing stuff. So you can really knock these things out pretty quick. And I think if you did a few of them, you know, kind of back to back, I think you'd be knocking these things out easily in 30 minutes. Um, just a really fun project. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I had a blast making these things. Big thank you to Turner's Warehouse, of course, for sending all this stuff down. And don't forget, I have links to everything that I used down in the description below. Um, and they're all affiliate links. So again, if you use those links to get over to Turner's Warehouse, doesn't cost you anything. It's just telling them that I sent you basically and they'll give me a referral bonus. It's a pretty awesome deal. You get to support the show, get some good stuff and also support Turner's Warehouse. So hopefully you guys will pick some of this stuff up. I hope you guys try these rings out if you haven't done it before. And uh, hopefully this gave you some ideas on what you can do. You know, I just decided to go for a couple random things and I'm really happy with the results of these things. So anyway, guys, I think that's about it. Oh, the one, one last thing about polishing these. I found that, you know, Chad can go through and just use Zona papers all the way through and he gets like an amazing gloss. For some reason, it doesn't work for me, just, just going through the Zona papers. And so um, I tried it, got, and you could still see stuff. So I don't know if I'm, what I'm doing wrong, because obviously it can be done, but um, I find, I went up to the pink paper of Zona and then I switched over to Magic Juice, went one through six, and these things are just, I mean, immaculate. They look amazing. So anyway, just a little tip, if you're struggling using just the papers, maybe try something else, you know, like Magic Juice or something like that to try and, you know, get that up. You could also buff these as well. If you got a buffing setup, that would work as well. So just wanted to kind of mention that. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Get in the shop, make some rings or some pens or do some resin casting, whatever it is, have fun doing it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.